Hi, my name is April, and I'll be doing Chapter 4, Topic 2, Self-Esteem and Self-Concept. What are self-esteem and self-concept? Self-esteem, also referred to as self-worth or self-image, is the global evaluative dimension of the self. For example, An individual may perceive that she is not just a person, but a good person. Others with low self-esteem will think the opposite. Self-concept refers to domain-specific evaluations of the self. Self-evaluations are made in several domains, such as academics, athletics, physical appearance, and so on. For example, a person may find themselves strong in academic, academics, but lacking in athletics. Now I move on to positive and negative indicators of self-esteem. Some positive indicators of self-esteem include gives others directives or commands, uses voice quality appropriate for situation, expresses opinion, sits with others during social activities, works cooperatively in groups, faces others when speaking or being spoken to, maintains eye contact in conversation, initiates friendly contact with others, maintains comfortable space between self and others, and has little hesitation in speech or speaks fluently. Some negative indicators of low self-esteem include puts down others by teasing, name-calling, or gossiping, uses gestures that are dramatic or out of context, engages in inappropriate touching or avoids physical contact, gives excuses for failures, brags excessively about achievements, skills, or appearance, verbally puts self down, self-deprecation, or speaks too loudly, abruptly, or in a dogmatic tone. Self-esteem, perception, and reality. Self-esteem reflects perceptions that do not always match reality. An adolescent's or an emerging adult self-esteem might indicate a perception about whether he or she is intelligent and attractive, for example, but that perception may not be accurate. Thus, high self-esteem may refer to accurate, justified perceptions of one's worth as a person and one's excesses and accomplishments, but it can also indicate an arrogant, grandiose, unwarranted sense of superiority over others. In the same manner, low self-esteem may suggest either an accurate perception of one's shortcomings or a distorted, even pathological insecurity and inferiority. Narcissism refers to a self-centered and self-concerned approach towards others. Typically, narcissists are unaware of their actual self and how others perceive them. This lack of awareness contributes to their adjustment problems. Narcissists are excessively self-centered and self-congratulatory, viewing their own needs and desires as paramount. As a result, narcissists rarely show any empathy towards others. In fact, narcissists often devalue people around them to protect their own precarious self-esteem, yet they often respond with rage and shame when others do not admire them and treat them in accordance with their grandiose fantasies about others. Sorry, themselves. Narcissists are at their most grandiose when their self-esteem is threatened. Narcissists may fly into a frenzy if they have given an unsatisfactory performance. For more information about narcissism and narcissists, go to our website and search and find and click on the link to videos. Self-esteem changes. During and just after many life transitions, individual self-esteem often decreases. This decrease in self-esteem may occur during the transition from middle or junior high school to high school and from high school to college. One cross-sectional study assessed the self-esteem of a very large, diverse sample of individuals from 9 to 90 years of age. These individuals were asked to respond to the item, I have high self-esteem, on a five-point scale in which five stood for strongly agree and one stood for strongly disagree. This is what this chart is based on. 
based on the chart, self-esteem decreased in adolescence, increased in the 20s, leveled off in the 30s, rose in the 40s through the mid-60s, and then dropped in the 70s and 80s. At most ages, males reported higher self-esteem than females. What could be the reason for the difference? Although there may be a decrease in self-esteem during adolescence, the drop is actually very slight and not nearly as pronounced as presented in the media. Declining self-esteem among females during early adolescence focuses on girls' more negative body images during pubertal change compared with boys. Another explanation for the de decrease involves the greater interest young adolescent girls take in social relationships and society's failure to reward that interest. We'll now move on to domains linked to self-esteem. Physical appearance, scholastic competence, social acceptance, behavioral acceptance, sorry, behavioral conduct rather, and athletic competence. Global self-esteem was correlated most strongly with physical appearance, a link that has been found in both the United States and other countries. Social context and self-esteem. Family cohesiveness increases adolescent self-esteem over time. Family cohesion was based on the amount of time the family spent together, the quality of their communication, and the extent to which the adolescent was involved in family decision making. Peer judgments also became increasingly important. Consequences of low self-esteem. Low self-esteem has been implicated in depression, anorexia nervosa, delinquency, and other adjustment problems, and even suicide. Self-esteem is a correlational rather than experimental. It could be equally likely that depression causes low self-esteem or low self-esteem causes depression. It is important to keep in mind the seriousness of the problem depends not only on the nature of the adolescent self-esteem but on other conditions as well. When low self-esteem is compounded by difficult school transitions, a troubled family life, or other stressful events, an individual's problems can intensify. To review, to review all of Chapter 4, please refer to page 140 in your textbook and look over the Review, Connect, Reflect questions.